Hello, welcome back. This is Timmy. And my name is Tommy. This is the Timmy and Tommy Film Review Show. And you've just seen Marie Antoinette. <sighs> I hated this film. Wow, <laughs> not even going to ask me about what no. I feel. <laughs> How did you feel about it? Did you watch the whole thing? I watched the entire film. I didn't. I did not watch it, the whole thing. Uh, first thing that turned me off about the film, it was called Maria Antoinette. <laughs> Second thing about it, it was Crimson Dunst playing Maria Antoinette. And third thing about it was, it was a movie about Mia, Maria <laughs> Antoinette. <laughs> nice. uh, it's a period film that I'm not interested in. It's a fluff piece. It's a, it's a chick flick. Yeah. It's a, it, it did not, I tried. I tried real hard. I tried. But, uh, yeah, MySpace was calling me. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, uh, I was dragged to the theater to watch this film. Um, I did not want to see this film. However, I had to appease my girlfriend. And um, Marie Antoinette, this film, okay, the only reason I really thought about watching it and I was a willing victim was that Sophia, Sophia, is it Sophia or Sophia Coppola? She directed it. Anyways. A Francis Ford Coppola's daughter directed wow. it. the same director of Lost in Translation. Mm -hmm. And I was going to see what she did. I was like, okay, she's slightly talented. I'm going to see what she did. I was so disappointed about the, with this film. It, was, it almost made me sick. Um, and one thing about the film is there are so many <laughs> close-ups on Kirsten Dunst. That is unbelievable. It's like after the, I think it's after the 12th close-up, I'm like, okay, how many close-ups are we going to do of, the, of Kirsten Dunst? Did she demand that she have another close-up? Was 25 close-ups not enough? Maybe the director was her. Maybe. Who knows? But uh, also, the, I, I do have to give a credit that the guy who played Marie Antoinette's husband, I have no idea what his name is, he did a good job of portraying Marie Antoinette's husband because that was actually an accurate portrayal of how, it, how her husband was. Um, However, I just didn't like this film. It was, I know what uh, Miss Coppola was trying to do. She was trying to give a new alternative, you know, edge to a historic piece. She was trying to mix, you know, new stuff with, you know, this piece, but it, it failed. It did not work. It was too, when you're taking a story of su such a tragedy as Marie Antoinette, you don't, you don't razz it up. You don't, you don't make it all bubbly and you have to respect the past. Sofia Coppola respected this entire story. And if she tried, I think she failed. So. <laughs> I like how you get quiet while I go off on a tangent and you know, and then you're like, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about soup. Nice. No, I wasn't. Nice. No, no, no. Uh, I, I'll let you go off on your rants. <laughs> yeah. um, most of the people out there love it too, so. Keep ranting, keep raving. Yeah. I'm just gonna tell you what the bros feel about it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. If you if your girlfriend drags you like Tommy's girlfriend dragged her, him, him. <laughs> I'll stick with her. Oh, no <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel bad for you, bro. Seriously. Um, but then she'll owe you one. So. Yeah. And um, my girlfriend was disappointed as well. So it's not just me being a guy. If you get a chance to watch this on Channel Six, by all means, skip it. Uh, do some homework. It'll yeah. be better. Yeah. I mean, unless you like this type of film. And if you do... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I, I apologize <laughs> yeah. if you like this kind of film. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't. If you like this type of film, fine. Sit down and watch it. But it's it's going to be a waste of your time. Not my you, cup of tea. Yeah. When I was when I, when I you watch a movie like this, because I know about Marie Antoinette. I know what she went through. And this film, even... I mean, this... This film is even historically inaccurate. Do your research about the entire thing, about what happened, and then watch this film, and you'll see all the inaccuracies that are in this film. And that, that pissed me off as well. So. I didn't want to do research in the first place. <laughs> right. Okay, um, as always, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, if you hate us, if you love us, uh, go ahead and go on to our website, which yep. you'll see after on the credits. Uh, Timmy and Tommy on MySpace, and we'll add you as a friend. And we'll be buddies, and, and we'll drink together. <laughs> Spring break's coming up, and I'm going to be on the beach all, all week. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. All right, and, uh, well, I would never buy it. I think I made that clear, but yeah. Yeah, you'd skip it, too, or would yeah, you see it on Channel 6? I, I wouldn't even, if I saw Marie Antoinette on Channel 6, I would change the channel. Okay. 
there you have it. Uh, this has been Timmy. And this has been Tommy. On the Timmy and Tommy Film Review Show.